Kubernetes, originating from the Greek language meaning helmsman or pilot, was created by Google in order to run production workloads at a wide scale. Kubernetes, or also written K8S, with eight letters between K and DS, got open sourced by Google back in 2014 in order to let the community be part of the technology stack. So what is Kubernetes? Kubernetes is a portable, extensible, open source platform to manage, scale, automate, containerized applications as well as services. You can containerize your apps and services by simply using something like Docker. But what about virtualized deployment, you might ask? If we look back, the deployment of a bunch of applications was done by dumping them onto a virtualized environment on a physical server somewhere. They all use the same operating system, resources and so on, which is great until something explodes. All of a sudden a couple of DevOps people run around screaming and trying to start up additional VMs in order to keep the application or server running. With containerized applications, they all run on a container runtime, each in its own container, using their own file system, share of CPU, memory, yada yada yada. They are decoupled of the underlying infrastructure, which makes the DevOps folks more relaxed because Kubernetes just starts up additional containers here and there if others run into issues without you even noticing. Whoa, that makes it so efficient and scalable! What is also great about containerized apps is that you just write up a magical script in something which is called YAML and tell Kubernetes to do the rest for you. And all of a sudden, your app or service is up and running and that is beautiful. Not saying VMs are bad, but container deployment is just easier, more reliable and pretty much cooler. So the bridge between Kubernetes and SAP is in the runtime environment of SAP Business Technology Platform. The SAP BTP Kima runtime runs on Kubernetes within SAP BTP.